Hey everyone, we're going to cover some basic arithmetic in C sharp, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey everyone, I thought we could just cover some basic arithmetic real quick. Let's say we have a variable friends, and I will assign this a value of what about 5? And within a right line statement, I will display the value stored within friends. So of course, friends will have a value of 5. But what if I need to update this, like increment it? I could say friends equals friends, and we make a friend, so we could say friends equals friends plus one, because remember the value stored within friends is five. This is no different from saying friends equals five plus one, which would be six. So let me display the value stored within friends, and of course that's six. Of course, you can change this to a different number too. You could say friends equals friends plus two, then the amount of friends that we have is seven. So there is a shortcut of writing this too, because this can be somewhat tedious. What you could say is friends plus equals then the amount that you want to increment this variable by. So if I need to increment friends by two, I could say friends plus equals two, and that would do the same thing. That's like a shortcut. So of course that would be seven. So there's a third way to increment and decrement too. This method is found within loops. You could say friends plus plus. However, this will only increment a variable by one. So if friends is initially five, then we say plus plus, well then friends will equal six. So there's three different ways to increment a variable. This way is found within loops. This is the standard way, and that's kind of the shortcut, this line right here. Okay, so let's decrement friends. So we could say friends equals friends minus one, or we could say friends minus equals one, or friends minus minus. So if we combine all of these, the amount of friends that we have is two. Let's work on some multiplication. If we need to double the amount of friends that we have, we would say friends equals friends times, we use an asterisk for multiplication and programming, times two. Then the amount of friends that we have is 10. And the shortcut would be friends asterisk equals two and that would do the same thing. Now division, let's say that Steve breaks up our group of friends. So we could say friends equals friends divided by two and for division we use a forward slash. Now pay attention to this. Our current number of friends is five, but what if we divide this by two? Well, you would think that we get 2.5, right? Well, you're wrong, we end up with two. That's because friends is an integer. We can only store whole numbers. We can't store that decimal portion, that 0.5. So if this was a double, well then that would be 2.5. So that's referred to as integer division and that's something you have to look out for. So if friends equals friends divided by two, well then the shortcut would be friends forward slash equals two and that would do the same thing. And then remember I'm storing this within an integer so we will truncate that decimal portion and we end up with two. And our last operator for this topic is the modulus, also known as the remainder operator. Now for this example, I'm going to change the amount of friends that we have to 10. So we can find the remainder of any division, but I'm going to store this within a new variable, int remainder. And to find the remainder, we could say friends, then modulus, which is represented by a percent sign, then three. So 10 divided by three will have a remainder and we will store that remainder within a new variable. So let's pretend that we have a total of 10 people and we have to break up into groups of three. So there's going to be one person remaining and I will just display that remainder of one. But if this was in groups of two, so friends modulus two, well 10 divides by two evenly, so there will be no remainder and the value will be zero. So if you need to find the remainder, you can always use this modulus, the remainder operator. And it's also pretty good for finding if numbers are even or odd too. So that's always a plus as well. All right, everybody. So that is some basic arithmetic. I will post this code in the comment section down below. And well, that's some basic arithmetic in C-sharp.